everyone, and welcome to part 7 of Let's Build a Vet Clinic. So first of all, I know it's been about a month since the last time I uploaded the series, and for anyone who hasn't seen any of the videos where I've talked about what's been going on in my life, I did buy a house recently, so that's why I've not been uploading a lot over the past month or two, because I was just busy with everything going on during the contract period, trying to make sure that we could close on the house on time, and then after we closed on the house, there was a whole process of packing and moving and then unpacking. So I just had a lot going on recently and because of that I've had to take a little bit of a break from YouTube and I just haven't been able to upload much. But everything is pretty much unpacked. I've got my computer set up the new place so hopefully I can get back into the swing of uploading regularly. Um, and yeah, I'm just really glad to be back too because I have been missing making videos and I haven't actually recorded anything in over two weeks because the last video I uploaded I recorded before I even packed up everything. Uh, so yeah, let's just get into this, and uh, first of all, oh yeah, Demigood, Techie74, and Dennis all suggested that I size down the lights in the bathroom. So I just went ahead and did that before I even started this. And the next thing we had was that Moo Crafter suggested that I add in some exit signs. So we did have some things from Get to Work that are like exit signs. So I was thinking we could put those up around the exits just to, I guess, make it look a little bit more realistic. So we have this which I think it'd work. Um, unfortunately, it's gonna go right up here in the molding, but I think that's fine. Um, I think, I don't know, I don't think we really need it over the front door. I think just having it in that door is fine. Yeah, so we'll leave it there, and I'm pretty sure there's not a red, yeah, that's that's a bit, there's not really red coloring of it. And then the next thing was Miss K suggested adding the file folder decoration here into the exam room. So I think we'll just go ahead and stick that right here. I think that's good. So it looks kind of like it's on the counter. And I'll change that to the white color. And oh yeah, my goal for this part is to finish all the exam rooms. I think that's what I said in the last part. It's been, it's been a while since I recorded it, so don't remember exactly what I said. But I think that was my goal for this part. And then um, also... Oh yeah, Ebony suggested adding the certificates that came with Get to Work to the reception area to look like it's just certificates for the vet and that kind of a deal. So I think this... yeah, this works. Um, we could just, I guess that looks, hmm, maybe it look better if we, or no, maybe we should just hang it up on the wall rather than having it in that area, because that looks kind of weird. You know what, um, actually it did look kind of good right here. So I think we'll, all right, okay, so that's the only border we have for that. I mean, yeah, I think that looks good. It kind of helps to fill in the space a little bit. So we'll go with that. And then another suggestion was that Heidi said I should try using the light wood that came with cats and dogs, at least in the reception area. So initially I wasn't going to do that because I was really happy with this tile, but now that I'm looking at it again, maybe it would look good if we tried it. So I think this watch would look good. So let's just try this. Um, okay, we'll put it back here too. You know what? Yeah, I think that actually does look a little bit better. Yeah, I like it. I mean, as much as I was really happy with this tile to begin with, I think this does look better. And then we have this if we want to go with an even lighter swatch. But I think that looks a little bit washed out, so we'll just go with this. And I was also thinking that we could use this tile here in the exam rooms, maybe? Because the other one did look good, but... I don't know, this one's just a little bit lighter and brighter, and... I think it'll go better with different wall colors than what we have here. And, I mean, I, I was wanting to go with a very light and bright look for this vet clinic, so... I do feel like for that reason, this one might look a little bit better. So, I think we will just go ahead and change the flooring in the vet clinic, or the exam rooms to be this one. And you can let me know what you think, because, I mean, if you think the other one looked better, we can go back to that. But I just wanted to try this out. And I also, I think I added this in after I stopped recording the last part, because I just felt like... The exam rooms needed a little bit more, so I was just trying to add some other things into them. Um, you know, I think I think that swatch looks good. So yeah, we'll stick with that. And then there were also some other suggestions for fixing up the exam rooms. And oh yeah, also, if my game looks a little bit brighter, that is because I did install the reshade mod because I was just seeing all these pictures on Twitter where other people started using the reshade mod and I just realized how much better it made the game's graphics look because I mean the game's graphics are pretty dull and dark originally so yeah i just really want to try it out and make my game look a little bit brighter 
And as far as the preset I'm using, I just downloaded the preset Harry had. Because I put in my game, I was pretty happy with it, so I didn't really tweak anything. But I might tweak the preset a little bit in the future. But yeah, I'll link to the, her tutorial on how to install the mod and where to get a preset and all of that. Because yeah, it's definitely really helpful and the mod just makes the game look so much better. So yeah, I'm just really excited to continue playing the game using this because yeah, it is amazing the difference it makes. Okay, but anyway, back to this. For the exam room, Skychime 658 had a whole bunch of suggestions. So first of all, they said that I could try using that x-ray wall decoration that came with, I think it was this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this one. Let me double check it if there was, oh no, this is probably what they're talking about. Yeah, so we could stick this, um, I think over here would be a good spot. Or maybe we could move the poster over here and then move this. No, I think I like I think I liked how it looked better over there. Yeah, so we'll just have that there. Uh, go with I think um yes, yeah, so we got a cat and we got a dog. Uh, we'll go with this. Yeah, and then we can use the cat X-ray. So we can have the dog X-ray in a couple rooms and then the cat one in the other ones. All right, so we got that. And then um, they also suggested taking the treats and then sticking them on this table over here, just so that way things don't look so crowded over on the counter because there is a lot going on over here. So I'm now thinking maybe we should get rid of these treats and then we can use those treats in some of the exam rooms and then these treats in others. So it's not the exact same thing in each of them. Yeah, that looks better, especially now that we got this little file folder thing in here. All right, so I think that is good. And uh, another thing they brought up was adding the broom decoration that came with laundry day stuff. So we'll go ahead and get that in here. And um, I think I, oh right, I haven't gotten my first pet stuff yet. But um, yeah, so we'll just um, add this. Okay, where do we put this? Because I kind of filled this up a lot. Yeah, there's not really a lot of, I don't know, maybe we won't add this in here because I like the posters. I feel like that's more something you would see in an exam room than a broom. Because I don't remember if I've ever seen a broom in a vet exam room. So I don't know. I think we'll just leave that out. Yeah, but we're not going to put that in. And then the last thing was that Techie74, Michael, and Sky Chimes also brought up ways to, to make the blinds look a little bit better. Things to replace the blinds with because, yeah, I, I guess we could do better with this. So Techie74 and Michael suggested sizing down these blinds. And then Sky Chimes suggested just using the country valence type curtains instead because, you know, they brought up that we don't really need a ton of privacy since it's kind of in like a private setting anyway. So we can kind of try both of those and just get rid of these. And um, I'm not sure if it's going to snap right if we size these down. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about sizing these down. So I think these are the curtains they're talking about. Or maybe not, because those are a little bit, um, a little bit too long. So we could also try these. Oh yeah, these actually work pretty well. And then we can go with white, since that's kind of the color scheme I was going with in here. Okay, yeah, that's about the lights it goes. Um, let's see, before or after, kind of compare it. I don't know, I just, I like the look of the blinds though, because it looks a little bit more clinical, which is something I feel... The room needs but then again yeah it doesn't i don't know but this does make the room look a lot brighter and i know there were some blinds that came with my first pet stuff that would actually probably work in here but um as i pointed out earlier i haven't gotten that pack yet so i don't have those blinds um i mean i might get the pack eventually but i'm not in any rush to get it because i just I, I have opinion pretty similar to other people's where i'm just not happy with that pack. I just don't like the idea behind it and how it was just kind of like how it very obviously had things that should have been in cats and dogs and belong with the sets in cats and dogs and just the the a lot of the clothing looks like it was recolors. So I'm just not in any rush to spend my money on that pack and that's also why I didn't make a review on it because like I just moved and was unpacking and I was like I do not feel like scrambling to put a video together on this pack that I just am not happy with and do not feel like spending my money on right now. But maybe I'll get that pack before the next part of the series so I can try out those blinds because they might work a little bit better. Like, they might actually look really good in here. Because, um, yeah, we have these. But, I don't know. I really have a white color. I think these look better than those the Parenthood ones I was trying earlier. Uh, let's Let's compare that to the... You know what? I, I think that at least looks better better than the 
the get to work blinds. So, you know, we'll, we'll keep that in there and then maybe I'll get my first pet stuff for the next one and we could try that out. Or I don't know, maybe I just won't use anything from that stuff pack in this build. So that way you don't have to have it to download this build and get everything in it. Cause I don't know, I'm not, cause how many of you have actually bought that pack? Cause I, I feel like that's a pack that not many, not as many people have bought. But I think that's about all I wanted to do with this exam room. Uh, we can get another look around here, but I feel like this is pretty good. So I'm just going to do what I was talking about last time and basically just copy this room over. Um, I think first we should actually get rid of this, though, because it's just going to stick it right on top of that. And it's probably going to look a little bit weird. I'm probably going to have to rearrange some things, but I feel like this will be easier than... Um, is it going to copy... No, because it's going to stick the doors. I think we have to flip it like this before we put it in here. And I'm not sure. Right. Okay. So where do, uh, <laughs> so we want to have the door right here. Yeah, that's the door we want to keep. So basically, we're just going to have to move things around a little bit. But I feel like that's easier than just, you know, replacing everything down. Because some things are in the spots where I want them to be. Like we got the, um, you know, we could actually keep, I think we could keep the counters over here. Because we had... Yeah, I think this is fine. It could be flipped with how it is in here. But that's perfectly fine. I don't think we need to move everything around. It doesn't have to be exactly mirrored. So we'll just take these. I might replace them with some other ones. And then we just got to move the... Oh, right. I had... What was it? F4, I think. It was for um, quarter grid placement. Oh, whoops. That is not what I meant to do. Okay. Um, What did I hit? Oh, never mind. It was actually F5. Yeah, I'm a little bit rusty on this in case you can't tell because I haven't properly built anything in like a month or no less than a month i don't know it's been a while okay so i think that's good the wall decoration situation is good let me just check to see if anything else popped in a little bit weird but yeah i think it's perfectly fine to just leave it like this rather than just moving everything around although now okay we can stick oh, but then you're sitting right next to a litter box i don't know i don't know if it really matters um we could just do this there we go that works for me all right, and that looks good over there. So I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna figure out a different color for the wall because I wanted to go with some other kind of light and bright color, um, like maybe a mint green. Ooh, that looks nice. I think I was trying to use some kind of purple originally in the last part. Um, I don't know, I don't really like that color. I, I like the mint green. Yeah, we'll stick with that for this room. And then for this mat here, I'll just change that to I think the blue color. Yeah, that looks good. Because I really want to... Or this. Yeah, I like that. It kind of goes with the color of the wall. And I wanted to also change out some of these posters just so we... Um, we'll start by cats and dogs. Just so we have something a little bit different and this room doesn't look exactly the same. Uh, let's see. Cats and dogs. There we go. So where is... I guess we want... Um, We'll replace this with the dog one. Yeah, there we go. And uh, we can go ahead and just, I don't know, I'll just delete this and replace it with this one. I don't think we need to replace all of them. And um, maybe we'll replace, we'll, we'll get rid of one of these and replace it with this, you know, hang in there kind of poster. Actually, I don't know, I liked... I like how those look, though. Oh, you know, before moving on, let's change the color of this, because I think there was... Yeah, there's the one with the slightly brighter wood color. So for this room, we'll change it to that. And maybe I should also just pick some different decals in here, because there's a whole bunch of different decals that we could use. So I should probably do that rather than just using the same ones we had to begin with in the other one. So we'll just change out this one as well. So what else do we have? We have, oh, we have that cute look. Oh, let's go with this guy. Uh, okay, no, never mind. Let's keep that. Let's keep that this size. And then I think that dog food bowl is fine. All right, so there we go. Um, I am just gonna go ahead and move on from this room. So for these rooms in here, I'm gonna kind of have to start with scratch from these because they're a different shape. But yeah, once I do this room, I can definitely copy it over to this one. That'll save us a bit of time. Uh, so let's just go ahead and grab this curtain here and then we'll stick it up here. There we go. Looks good. I think we're going to need another one of these lights as well. And let's move that over so it's a little bit better centered in here. Okay. 
and that looks good. And then we'll just change this to the same white color that we're using over there. All right, so how do we want to arrange this? So I want to have the same counters and maybe we can make, yeah, so this one I'm not gonna be able to copy over as well, but I think we could have that same wall of counters that we had over here, over in this spot. So we can have the same kind of counter set up in here. So I'll just go ahead and grab those. We'll grab the end piece. Uh, which I think this, yeah, that was this way. And then we just got to grab this one as well. Yeah, so I think we should be able to finish. Is that not the right? Okay, no, I didn't grab the right one. But I think we should be able to finish these exam rooms in this part. Um, so then the next part, we should be able to move on to up the upstairs. And uh, yeah, I think in this series can probably be finished by 10 parts. And oh right, these ones were a pain to put up. So hopefully I have a little bit better luck snapping these in place. Okay, so I finally got that cabinet in and we can now continue on with this. So let's go ahead and grab the sink and I'll put it here in the same kind of spot where we had it over here. And I will just grab most of where I had it. I had that right here next to the sink in about this spot. And then we also had the medical tools in here. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll grab those. Grab the Q-tips as well and stick them over here. And then um, what else? I guess we'll, we'll go with the cat version for this room. There we go, looks cute. Okay, and then I'll, I'll deal with the decals later. Um, so let's go ahead and also pick out the wallpaper. So I think for this room, we'll go with a nice bright blue. Like maybe this one. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I like that more than this one. It stands out a little bit more. And uh, while we're at it, we can also pick the wall color for this room. Um, so what do I want to do for this one? Maybe I can try going with that purplish color I didn't go with before. Yeah, I think it at least goes better with this flooring. Yeah, because I think part of why I didn't like it in the other room was that it just didn't really go with the other flooring, but it works a little bit better now. All right, so continuing on with this room, um, we want to have all the same stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this and put it up in the same spot we did over here, which was right. Yeah, I think that's where we had it before. Another thing that might look good is sticking this scratches on the wall decal somewhere. Just, I don't know, like there's some unruly pat who just got him scratched a bit at the wall. Um, so we can just stick that here under the window. And I forget it. Okay, no, that doesn't have any swatches for it, so that's fine. Uh, what else do we need? So we need the chairs, the litter box. Um, I was also thinking that in this awkward space back here, we could stick in um, the just like a, a tall cabinet here just to look like kind of like a storage cabinet. So yeah, I think that would look nice. So we can go ahead and place that there. And I know I got some other color swatches with... Uh, no, you know what? I think I'll actually just leave it white. Yeah, I think that looks fine. Uh, we also had this. Maybe that one would look a little bit better. Uh, I don't know. It shows up a little bit bluish though, which annoys me. Oh, another option is that we could use these lockers. I mean, that might seem like kind of a weird thing, but I feel like that would just look a little bit better and more like a storage cabinet. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's not popping through the wall. So let me just, okay. Yeah, that looks really cool. Okay. I like that. Yeah, so I'll go with that over there in that corner. And then I'm just gonna grab these seats from over here. We'll just stick them here. I think since we have the blue here in this room, I'm just gonna go with a different color for the top of, or for the for the chairs. But we'll go ahead and grab this nightstand. Place that here between them. Um, I think uh, we'll just have it right there. That works. And we did have this coloring, although I don't like the the white on the, I don't like the color of the arms. Uh, but you know, we'll go with this. Um, and now this doesn't really, um, you know what, I, I think it looks fine. We can just leave that. It's perfectly fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab, oh right, I said I was gonna use different treats in some of the rooms. So for this, for this room, we'll just go with this treat. And oh yeah, I also needed to add this in. So we'll just have this here. Let's try the blue swatch. Or no. I don't know. I think I just like the, the beige more in here. 
Or do we have a white one? Okay, no we don't. Okay, so moving along, we'll grab the litter box from here and stick it... Um, how about over here? And then I wanted to add a trash can in somewhere near the near the door. Yeah, so I think that works. Or maybe it'd be better if we put the trash can right here and then added the litter box in over here. Yeah, I think that works. Although, I mean, I probably don't need the litter boxes in each exam room, but... Oh, well, we'll just stick it in anyway. Yeah, you know what? Okay, on second thought, maybe we shouldn't be sticking the litter boxes in the exam room, because, I mean, you wouldn't typically have that. So what we could do instead is we could just have this area out here in the hall, because I wasn't even sure what to do with the space. Where are we going to stick litter boxes? Okay, perfect. All right, so we'll just have them all lined up there. I think that works a little bit better than shoving them into the exam rooms. So yeah, that that looks a bit better without having litter boxes in there, because that just kind of didn't really make any sense. So we'll move you back over here, and then um, next to finish up this room, we just got to get the, the wall decorations, and we'll be good. Um, so we can have this x-ray thing here. Uh, let's go with the cat one. And uh, there was that other wall decoration I saw that came with cats and dogs. Yes, this one, this little diagram. So we'll have that over here. Um, I guess we'll go with the cat one. And after that, we just got to add in some posters. All right, so we'll add you in over here. And then um, along, actually, uh, let's sort by cats and dogs and see what we have. We'll throw in this over here. Yeah, this wall's a little bit shorter, so we'll just have one poster. And I'll stick in another poster over here, and then I think that's good. Yeah, this exam room's a little bit smaller than the other one, so we don't really need as much in here. And apart from that, I think we just gotta get the decals up behind here, and then that's good. Oh, this thing's really cute. I like this. So we'll add this in. And uh, we also had some of the other black and white ones. So I think we'll just kind of go with black and white decals for this room. So we'll add you in there. We'll add another cat that looks like it's kind of trying to play with this yarn ball. And I think that's good. Uh, actually, let's change this. Oh, that's not what I meant to delete. There you go. We'll add a dog in here. Okay. I think that's good. Uh, can we change? I think black was the, that was the only option for that. Um, maybe we could put this one in here, just to... Uh, yeah, I think it might look better if we add this one in. Alright, I think that's good. Okay, so let's just double check. I don't think we really need anything else in this room, so I think this one's pretty good. Yeah, so now that we, we know what we want to do with these exam rooms, they're coming together a lot quicker. And I can try copying this room over, but I just don't think it's gonna... Yeah, it's just not going to work well with the shape because it's not a perfect, it's just not a square rectangle. So, unfortunately, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to copy everything over. So let me just do that really quick. So I got this stuff in this exam room. That's going to be the same as the other one. I didn't really want to make you all watch me copying stuff over again. So, first of all, we'll just stick the decals in here. I think this one looks cute. Yeah, so we'll have this guy over here behind or near the sink. And uh, let's also add in... Oh, this one. Yeah, I think this one will look cute in this room. And there's also the little uh, little bouncy ball might be cute to add in here. Yeah, I think that's good. Alright, so other than that, let's just get the posters. Um, so let's go with um, this one. We'll put this one up here behind the chairs. And I also wanted to get the like the x-ray item and that stuff. I don't know, I don't remember exactly where that was. So we'll just go ahead and grab it. I guess we'll go with the cat one for this room. I think I had it. Yeah, I had it closer to the counters than the other one. And then we also had this item. Yeah, so stick this here. And then uh, we just got to get some posters. Yeah, so I'll just sort this by cats and dogs to make it a little bit easier. Um, I guess for this room, we'll go with this one. Um, there we go. That looks a little bit better. And uh, I'll throw in... I don't know, this one over here. Okay, so I think that's good. And then another thing I was thinking was that since we're not going to be putting litter boxes in the exam room anymore, this item here would probably be a good thing to have. Because, yeah, that doesn't, definitely feels like something you'd want to have in the exam room. And so we'll just go ahead and add this in. Um, I think right here would be good. For this room, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this one and stick it in a similar spot in this room. 
And then we'll put it over here in this one. There we go. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Definitely better than having the litter boxes in there. So I think that's about it that, um, you know what, actually let's add that same, I don't know if I want to stick it. Um, oh, we can also add the one from vampires in here. Cause I mean, they are scratch marks, but they're a little bit different just so it's not the exact same between both rooms. So I don't know, we'll just stick that there. Um, maybe we can also add, add into uh, this exam room, like right, sure, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll stick it there. And I guess we could also add something over to this room. So for this one, I'll just stick this one. Um, we'll just kind of have it in there. Okay, all right, so I think that's it for the exam rooms in this part. Um, I don't really think I'm gonna do a whole lot more in this part. I feel like we made good progress. You know, we fixed up this room, finished these three. That's a good bit of stuff done, but I'll kind of start off what I'm gonna do in here. So I was thinking, um, since this is kind of just a pathway, we'll have this rug in here. I'm not so sure if I should keep the litter boxes here because I don't know if it would work well to have this hallway going outside to be like a litter box alley. And what the, why the hell is this here? When did I do this? I, why is this vacuum here? Did I just, oh, I might've just shoved this over here in a previous part. Yeah, I mean, I haven't recorded this in a while, so I don't remember exactly what I was thinking when I stuck that over here. But I think I was just saying I was gonna shove it over here and just deal with it later. Yeah, cause I could put a chair here, but I don't think you'd wanna sit here and have the delightful view of looking at some litter boxes. So I'm not exactly sure what to do with this area. So I don't know, you all can let me know what you think we should do back here, but we can at least add some of these posters. Um, so we'll go with this one. I don't know, we'll just kind of space them apart a little bit. Cause I think initially when I was adding in posters over in this area, I was adding in too many at first. So I think we want to keep it a little bit more spread out. Did I add, no, I didn't add this one in back here. Yeah, so I'll add you. And then I guess we'll just add the little kitten. Um, actually, let's, I'll throw this one in here. There we go. Or maybe since it's over the, the cat boxes, we should add a cat related poster. Although I don't know if that's gonna stay there or not. But I'm gonna have that be all that I do in this part. So yeah, let me know what you think I should do with this area back here. Like whether you think I should keep the litter boxes in here or any other ideas you have and anything you have, any ideas you have for improving what we've done this part. But with that, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and end this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye.